Janice and Mark still here with us. All right, Mark, um, how is she going to hold up when she's faced head on with this criticism tomorrow night? Well, Trish, she's going to try to ignore the also rans. Uh, look, this is going to be a pander fest for the left. So Hillary's mostly going to focus on her bona fides, right, with the far left, with union members, with the abortionists, all those people on the left. She's going to be fighting for and focusing on them. Mm -hmm. She'll largely ignore the guys who are, you know, uh, in the debate as well. Yeah, um, how and do then you ignore you, them, though? Don't you run the risk, Mark, of seeming condescending if no, you, you just ignore totally them. Look, you, them? You, you ignore them by demonizing Republicans uh, and just sort of talking past them. Uh, and so, you know, it's it's and, and remember, look, Bernie Sanders is not touching her because she's the woman in the race and he's also succeeding, as 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 Ed said. So they're all going to be focusing on the far, far left in this debate and everything they say. The guys who are looking for attention uh, who are polling at one percent or less. Yeah, they'll attack and they'll look for everything they can. But she's going to really benefit by just ignoring them, attacking Republicans and focusing on the left and the Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. You think that's a good strategy, Janice, and that's what we're going to see? No, I, I think this debate is geared towards Democrats, not Republicans, quite frankly. And I think this is their rare opportunity. So I don't think they're going to focus on what Mark just said. I think, I think what's important to point out wait, is that this wait, is hold the, on. You hold don't on, think hold on, that Chafee or anybody's going to go after her? Let me talk. Let me talk. No, what I'm trying to say is, is the one opportunity she has before the Iowa caucus is to move the needle in her direction. The same thing for Sanders. If you look at the excitement that she generated from the be at the beginning versus now, clearly she has a lot of ground to catch up. He, on the other hand, needs to come across as a viable candidate. Look what the Republican debates did for Carson and for Carly Fiorina. Mm -hmm. So they need to kind of move in that direction in their own terms instead of reaching to that audience that is still skeptical in San on Sanders' case. He needs to go beyond that liberal base. And on Hillary's case, she needs to basically convince her core group that was already strong at the beginning that she She's still the horse to beat on the candidate. But Denise, and I think those are the challenges. I, I agree with you. Um, but it, oh, don't thank you, you believe? <laughs> yeah, we, we agree now and then. We most definitely do. Wouldn't you, however, say, I mean, if you were advising any of those other candidates, they got to steal some votes from her. I mean, they, they, they need to in order to, to bring themselves up in the poll. So it's logical to think that they would be on the attack. I, I think it's naive of you in this no, particular but, case but Trish, say, no they're not going to do it trish we're talking about politics and politics makes very strange bedfellows Hillary, uh, Senator Clinton and, and Sanders do need each other at the end of the day if they're going to win this race, whoever the candidate is. So, and it's also not in Senator Sanders' uh, character to be critical or to be malicious in his, in his whatever not he thinks Sanders, of Hillary Clinton personally. Right. We've got the others. I mean, so, Lincoln Chafee so was on the, the other show. Don't, I'm sorry. Uh, respect for the others who are elected officials. They're not registering right now. Yeah. So I don't think that's where the, they could do whatever they can on that station. I don't think it's going to bring that. You don't that think it's going to matter. High. And this, to Mark's point, this is their she chance needs to right. talk do that, over though. them, through no, but, them and beyond. Uh, so yeah. this is their chance to move that needle. They have everything, nothing to lose and everything to win. Go ahead, Mark. Let's keep something in mind. First of all, the Republican debate was like the greatest show on earth. It was it was a slugfest, okay, with 24 million viewers signing in. The Democrats debate is going to be like a school play. It's going to be <laughs> sleepy. They'll be lucky if they get 6 million people to watch. And frankly, 5 million are going to watch because the front runner is under investigation by the FBI. OK, this, hey, this slate of right? candidates is an embarrassment. <laughs> You've got Bernie Sanders doesn't even associate as a Democrat and he's running for the nomination for the Democrats. Excuse me. Well, if you had not a, had Donald this Trump, is at a that horrible debate, slate of candidates. They're going to run either. headlong right. into the, the American electorate wants to see solutions from outsiders. This slate of candidates is tired. They're old. They're leftist. They're responsible for seven years of a disastrous economy. And believe me, Hillary Clinton will not be held accountable by these guys as hard as they try. She's going to yeah. look past them. Hey, and at She's going to try to demonize at Republicans. At least one of them wants the socialist system and the other wants the metric system. I, I'm, I'm at least he's willing to, uh, to admit that he's Chafee. a socialist. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Chafee defending his uh, metric system tonight. Anyway, tomorrow night, Denise, Mark, thank you so much. Good to see you guys here. Thanks,